What's up guys, it's Curly Guy here and I am back with another video. Um, by the title of this video, you can obviously see that I'm going to be comparing the Coconut Oil Eco Styler and the Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Eco Styler. Now please excuse my ratchet appearance you guys. All I can say is I do it for you guys. Um, and if I'm looking over here, I have this new setup with my viewfinder. Um, I'm using my computer as my monitor. So I'm getting real fancy. Real fancy. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, uh, what I'm going to be doing is basically doing kind of like a battle of the stylers and comparing each one of those products. Um, and also I want to introduce this thing called the PAP system, which means it's an acronym for performance, accessibility, price, and smell. Those are the four most, most important things to me when it comes to purchasing a product um, and everything about a product. So yeah, I'm going to be introducing that at the end of the video. But yeah, if you guys want to see uh, the application process and my final thoughts and my final results, then just keep watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so on this side of my head, um, I'm going to be applying the Eco Styler Coconut Oil, as you'll see. And it says that this one has a max hold of 10, um, like the other Eco Styler that I always use. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be applying that. And I've already put my leave-in in, as you've seen. But I'm going to be applying this onto this side. And I just broke it down into those two sections that were on that side and just went on and distributed that through. Um, the first thing I noticed was that it did have a coconut smell, so I did like that. But um, this product, it felt like Eco Styler Gel. Um, I did notice that it was really easy to distribute through my hair. I didn't have any problems with that. Um, and I didn't have any, you know, flaking or anything with it going on top of that. So I'm just going to keep applying it to this side and then I'm going to move on to the other side. Okay guys, so now on this side of my head, which is my left, which is probably your right, um, I'm applying the black castor and flaxseed oil. This one also has a max hold of 10. Now one thing that you're going to notice is that I felt like this product was giving me a little bit of white flakes. Um, and that's atypical of Eco Styler Gel because that never happens when I use this leave-in. So I'm thinking that it's indicative of this uh, specific Eco Styler Gel. Now the smell. It smells good. Um, it is a bit perfumey for me. Um, I would much rather prefer the smell of the coconut oil, but I'll get into all of that at the end. So as you see, I'm just going to keep applying this through the two sections. And um, yeah, so I'm going to apply to finish applying that. And then I'm going to let my hair air dry. And then I'm going to come back with the results and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So if you want to hear how I feel about these two products, then stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am back and here are the final results. Um, I think it looks great. Now, at first glance, I'm sure you think it looks great too. It looks like a nice, defined, bouncy wash and go. And it is bouncy. It has loads of movement. But, there is a catch to this, you guys. So, let's just get into the details. So, starting with the coconut oil side, which is this side. Um... This side is everything to me. It's defined, it's shiny. I don't know if that comes across. I'm looking at my monitor. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but it is everything. It's shiny, it's bouncy, there's a lot of movement. And I really like it. I really also love the smell and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the pap. So the performance, this product went into this side of my hair really easy. Like any other Eco Styler gel, I didn't have any issues. Um, so it performed well. It's giving me nice soft curls. It did not dry crunchy at all. I didn't have to scrunch out any crunch because there was nothing to scrunch. Um, and then the accessibility of this product, 
it was very easy to find. Um, this one was in every beauty supply store that I went to and I went to about five of them looking for the other one and this one was in every single one of them. So that was definitely a good thing. Moving on to the price, I did get the small one and this one is eight fluid ounces and it was $1.99. So it was cheaper than the other one also. Um, and then the smell, it smelled like coconut. So yeah, I really did enjoy this one. Um, then moving on to the black castor and flaxseed oil. Okay, now this one also has a hold of 10. It's also eight fluid ounces and the performance, it did okay, you guys. I mean, I, like I said, on screen, I'm sure it looks like it is everything. But if you can tell, the other side did get a little bit more length. Um, this one didn't come back uh, shrinkage as much. It also didn't give me as much control. I need to zoom in, you guys. That's a little bit better. So as you can see, um, this side, does have a little bit more frizz also this side does have a little bit more volume i'm sure that comes across on camera um and i i love volume and i don't mind frizz but i would take this one over this one um the flaxseed just it did give me a little bit of frizz you guys i have to say that um so that's it overall it performed okay but it did leave a little bit more frizz um and it did give me more volume so um moving on to the accessibility now you guys i live in a small town but i had to go literally go to jerusalem to find this product like it was so hard to find and i went to five beauty supply stores and luckily the last one had it but they only had this size the eight ounce size and yeah and this one was two dollars and fifty cents so it was fifty cents more than this one um but yeah at least i was able to find it for you guys um so i did go to the edge of the earth and back for you guys um but yeah uh moving on to the price as i said it was 250 so it was a little bit more i mean 50 cents is not really anything major but it was more um and then the smell it had a very perfumey smell to it you guys it did smell good but it was very perfumey for my taste. I would definitely prefer the coconut smell over the other one. So, my final thoughts. Um, the coconut oil one is the winner um, for me. For one, it was cheaper and it gave me more bang for my buck. Um, it applied to my hair like a dream, like any other eco style gel. I like the way it looks more. Like I said, in the monitor, it definitely looks the same. But this side is much more defined and controlled and elongated so i definitely prefer this one i also prefer the smell of this one over the flaxseed um and the performance as well i feel like even though both sides of my hair dry really really soft like it's super soft you guys um i feel like i'll get more days of wear out of this side than i will out of this side because it's already a little bit more frizzy um so if i had to rate these on a scale of one to ten this one would get an eight for me it was good, but it wasn't everything. It was good, so this one would get an 8, and this one would probably get a 6 or a 7. Because this one wasn't horrible, it just wasn't, it didn't blow me away. And this one was good, but it also didn't blow me away either. So, I hope this helps you guys out if you're thinking about buying either one of them or both of them. Um, yeah, I really liked the results of my hair overall. And yeah, so... As always, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, then I don't know what y'all are doing, but please go subscribe to my channel and also like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to hit that little bell to remind you when I upload. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>